Now available in paperback and e-readers, EC Horror of Hyena Woman, Hell's Aspiring Angel takes on a wicked rare woman in this action-packed all-new e series adventure. Get e Horror of Hyena Woman in paperback and e-readers today. The 1990s were a golden age for hand-drawn animation, and there were so many great movies and TV shows made in hand-drawn animation that many projects don't really get the appreciation that they deserve. Now, Disney was in the middle of its second renaissance, producing great films like Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin. Warner Brothers was out here creating great animated TV shows like Batman the Animated Series and also making movies like The Iron Giant. And we had Fox out here making hand-drawn animated classics like Anastasia. So there was so much great animated content that most people basically started to overlook truly underrated projects like Disney's Gargoyles and The Legend of Calamity Jane. Now, The Legend of Calamity Jane is a true masterpiece that really has not gotten the appreciation it deserves from an animation fans. And when this series came out in 1997, I was absolutely floored when I saw the first episode and basically fell in love with this show. The Legend of Calamity Jane is a animated Western in a time when Westerns weren't very popular, but due to the great, unique designs and really well-crafted storytelling, this series really stood out. In the three episodes that got to air in the United States before the show was pulled by Kids WB. Now, The Legend of Calamity Jane was supposed to be a part of the Kids WB schedule. However, after airing three episodes, the series was replaced with Superman the Animated Series and then later on replaced with the Men in Black Animated Series. And sadly, this series basically wound up fading away as related to American audiences and most people didn't really appreciate the art and the storytelling presented in this animated series. So, while this series only got three episodes aired on Kids WB, Back in 1997, The Legend of Calamity Jane did have a one-season run on other parts of the world. In Canada and other countries, The Legend of Calamity Jane ran all of its 13 episodes, and as this animated western ran its 13 episodes, it gained a cult following as related to the overall series. And when I heard that this series was coming to Kickstarter on DVD, I had to go out here and put in a pledge for the deluxe edition. And a year later, the Blu-ray was sent to me, and I'm hoping that they will send the DVDs because the people at the Kickstarter said they would be sending out Blu-rays to people who wanted the DVDs and then send them the DVDs later. And I was happy to finally have the series in my collection to go along with many of the other animated series I have bought from that golden age of animation, such as Batman the Animated Series, Superman the Animated Series. I even have Filmation's Ghostbusters. I'm trying to get a complete set of Gargoyles. And I also have Batman Beyond because, there, again, there were so many great hand-drawn animated programs, and I really wanted to have this one so I could go out and be able to watch the remaining 10 episodes that I that was not able to get when the original series was originally presented in the 90s. And again, I really love the very unique designs here as related to the Calamity Jane character. Really nice, crisp, clean lines and really solid presentation of the character. And the reason why I bought the deluxe edition was because I not only wanted the 10 episodes, I also wanted to go out here and check out the Calamity Jane comic, which was exclusive to this box set and this entire collection. I wanted, I put down more money to get this comic, and I was really impressed with this comic. Now, this Legend of Calamity Jane comic is bigger than a traditional comic. 
There is a copy of John Haynes at Death's Door inside of a plastic bag, and it is bigger than the traditional comic. And it came in its own bag, and I was really happy that they did go out here and give me a larger bag for this larger comic. And this larger comic is great because it's larger, it presents a larger than life presentation of this legendary heroine. And this first comic, which is done by this creative team of Stephen A. Roman, Elisu Guevara, and Eli Galindo, really brings back the Wild West's most exciting bounty hunter for a great one issue that really reintroduces the character to new audiences who have never read the character and brings that character back and really captures the heart and the spirit of the original hand-drawn animation. Now, this new comic is one that really does something that I do with my own Isis series. What they do is take this legendary iconic character of Calamity Jane, which is an adaptation of the legendary Western character of Calamity Jane Canary, and brings her into modern times. And this series, this whole first issue on the first page, they do a great job of bringing this Western character into a modern world, and they re and they introduce this character into this modern world and have her in the world of bounty hunting. And the art here is absolutely fantastic, and it really captures the spirit of the original hand-drawn animation. And I also love the fact that they capture the spirit of the original stories that were presented in the original animated series. One of the things that people didn't really notice too much about this original series in the first three episodes they aired is how nuanced the storytelling is. And that was one of the strengths I saw as related to storytelling with Calamity Jane is how subtle everything is as related to the storytelling. And it's one of those things that makes this series just very unique is that the writers really just go out here and they just let they just build a story very slowly and you have to really take a minute to capture all the details that are going on as related to the sequences in the story. So that was one of the things I liked about the about this comic overall. Again, just a really great job of setting up this whole sequence of Calamity Jane who's on the trail of a bounty of a person who took the life of her friend and in this modern times we get a great little bit of a mystery as related to how a woman from the wild west is still alive in modern times and i like the way they just introduce everything in this comic and set it up very nicely and this whole comic again takes us into the present then shows us what happened in the past as related to the death of Calamity Jane's friend, Wild Bill Hickok. And this is the mystery as related to where she's trying to find out what happened to the person who killed her friend. So it's a really good mystery. And again, we get some good sequencing and we get a good setup as related to the past and modern times. But I really don't want to give away too much of this comic. This comic, again, is exceptionally well done. And I don't want to take away from the work of these creators who have brought back one of the best animated characters and brought the characters back to modern times. Just, again, exceptionally well done setup. I could see this comic basically being the whole storyboards for a new Calamity Jane series. I could see it basically it reintroducing this Western character into modern times, and I could see them using this as a setup for a pilot for a new animated series that continues on with the characters in Adventures in the 21st century. And this was, again, I just love the way that everything was set up and the writers just took their time and crafted a very well done comic here. I mean, I've read a lot of comic adaptations of animated series, and this one ranks up there with the Batman adventures and the Superman adventures in terms of quality of storytelling. And this one base, this one is one you definitely want to pick up. This was a series that a lot of people slept on in the 90s as related to an animated series. And it's one that a lot of people slept on. And I believe people need to go pick this one up on DVD and Blu-ray. Again, this is an animated series I can highly recommend. And the comic is one that I can highly recommend as well. 
I mean, this is a faithful adaptation to the animated series, and I've always loved this animated series for its just really unique lines and designs, and I liked it for its well-done, really multi-dimensional characters, and I'm glad to see that the people who put went out here and got the rights to this animated series are staying true to the heart of this animated series, and I'm hoping that people will, will discover this series and really appreciate what a great animated program The Legend of Calamity Jane was for its 13 episodes, and I'm hoping more people will go out here and pick up this absolutely fantastic comic, which stays true to one of the, one of the best store animated series of the 1990s. Now, you guys can pick up my um, first full comic, John Haynes, at Death Store on Lulu.com right now, and you can go out here and purchase your own copy of the first full John Haynes comic by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to help me be able to make my next full SJS Direct comic, because I have two scripts that I've set up for the for an ISIS comic, which were Isis the Beauty Myth and Isis All That Glitters, and I'm trying to raise funds to get those comics put together, you guys can send a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you also want to help me be able to make... Um, be able to support more independent creators because that's what I do here on the channel when I do reviews. I've got this Melvin comic I picked up about a couple of weeks ago from Velvet Comics. I, I go out here and support indie artists and indie comics and I can only do that with your support with donations to the PayPal, the Cash App, or the Patreon by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my action pack fantasy fiction on the SJS Direct imprint, like the Isis series, the Esteem series, the John Haynes series, the books of the Spinsterella trilogy, or my vampire novel, Eternal Night, you can send, you can head over to Amazon.com and pick up those books in paperback and Kindle format, and you can also find those books at other online booksellers, like Smashwords, the iBookstore, Google Play, and Barnes and & Noble. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and e-readers, Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess. The goddess next door takes on the threat of a deadly digital diva driven to destroy the world in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, Revenge of the Cyber Goddess featuring a bonus pin-up and the other two books in the Cyber Goddess saga at online bookstores everywhere today. Now available on Lulu, John Haynes at Death's Door. The man who rules the world takes on the Greek god of death in this action-packed, all-new John Haynes comic book. Get your copy of the first John Haynes comic at Lulu.com today. Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media, www.niceradionetwork.com. Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.